what's going on youtube so today we have a super cute hairstyle and a crazy shop story what's going on guys it's your girl easy breezy and i'm back with another hair sponsor actually a brand new hair sponsor thank you so much s damey wig they sent me this water wave unit and y'all know i had to do a little color to it okay i did some brown with a blonde strip in the front and if you guys want to see exactly how i did this color i'm gonna link it in the comments below so modeling today we have my girl Cass in the building and let me tell y'all a little bit about this girl right here okay she's been coming to me for so long like years ago when I was doing hair in my salon she was one of my clients for like maybe two or three years so in this video I'm definitely going to be talking about a story that she just happened to be in the shop to witness <laughs> and it's crazy but hilarious so let's get into it and remember this is shop talk all right so whatever happens in the shop stays in the shop period yeah Jaleesa, she was collecting the money from everybody and i remember one girl she had a, a big blowout about it she was like upset about it oh you, know, you were saying, here bro i was there when that happened <laughs> like, i'm not broke I got, i'm just saying i don't understand what's <laughs> going on like she was upset about it like she was she was hot I can't believe you were there that day. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what she's talking about. So as a stylist, right? I've had a few instances where people have run off on me without paying me. And that is okay, like never. So at one point I decided that I was just going to make my clients pay before they actually get their service. And I'm not talking about a deposit. I'm talking about like once they come in, we figure out what they need done, we figure out their hair and stuff like that, and they pay the full amount before they even sit in my chair. So I've been doing hair for over 10 years and I've been doing this pay before service method for the last year. And when I tell you I've had so much just smooth weeks and smooth days and I don't have to deal with clients saying that they don't have money or they don't have enough on their card or magically their cash app stops working like I've avoided so many problems by taking cash first it's it literally changed my life and made my life a lot less hectic so you know my clients that were coming to me before they didn't mind because they knew my work and they knew what type of stylist i was and they knew they were always gonna leave happy regardless but some people that you know maybe have come to me for the first time for some reason they were just not okay with this which made me think if you had any question that your hair was going to come out nice why would you even come to me in the first place so with the client that Cass was talking about earlier this girl has been coming to me like for the past year. Like I've done her hair maybe four or five times. So she already knows that, you know, her hair is gonna be nice and it should be nothing new to her, you know? The only thing new was that she was gonna have to pay me before instead of after. And one day she came in, right? And I wasn't really paying attention. I was like on a client already. So my shop manager greeted her and, you know, was asking her, okay, what do you need done? Do you need any hair? Are you getting color? Just like the normal, you know, small consultation questions. And, you know, she was answering and everything was all good at first. So at that time, like adding on to, you know, the good service, you know, that we always used to provide, we even had wine at the time and drinks. So, you know, everyone was like really comfortable cause we just love that type of environment where everyone, you know, probably like a little bit of wine drunk, you know, <laughs> and you know, we're talking in the shop and it's just a good vibe. And that's just, you know, the type of environment that we used to have. So all of a sudden, like I look over, right? And this girl is looking like mad or looking annoyed. 
And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I didn't say anything because I'm like, you know, she's probably mad at something else. I don't know. I don't even care. So she comes, sits down in my chair because, you know, she's ready to get her hair done. And she's looking stank. Okay, she's looking stank. She's looking like somebody just stole some money from her or something. So I'm like, you know, what's wrong? Are you okay? And she looks at me and she goes, I don't know. I just feel tried. And I'm like, tried, you know, and I'm thinking by who? <laughs> so I'm like, you know, what's wrong? Like, you know, who, you know, who could have tried you? And she was like, I just feel like, you know, your shop manager just tried to fuck out of me. And I'm like, okay. So one thing about my shop manager is she has a big personality. So sometimes like in her younger years, you either loved her or some people would just despise her. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe she said a joke or maybe she said something that could have offended the client. So I was like, you know, did she say anything to offend you? And the girl was like, no. And I was like, okay, did she speak to you when you came in? And did she like, you know, um, ask you what you needed? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, did she offer you a drink? And the girl was like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> so what the fuck is that issue? <laughs> and she was like, I just don't appreciate how she's asking me for money as if I'm just going to leave and not pay. She's trying me like I'm broke. And I was like, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, I was telling the girl, like, you know, that's not her trying you. You know, she's just making sure that, you know, everyone pays because that's what I told her to do. And the girl just continued on and she was like, well, I'm not one of these broke bitches out here and I got money unlike these other hoes. And I just don't, I don't, I don't appreciate her talking to me like that. And y'all, <laughs> when I say I was so thrown off, like I've seen some crazy shit in that shop, but that day, that definitely topped all the experiences. And like for the rest of the appointment, the girl was looking stank. So she was really trying her hardest just to be negative energy all day. And after that, like I couldn't take it. Even the thought of her just annoyed me. The thought of her talking to my shop assistant the way she did annoyed me. And I had to unfollow her and I just, oh my gosh, y'all, I was so irritated. So I want to get into a discussion in the comments below, right? This is clients against stylists. Do you feel like your stylist has the right or do you think it's a good idea for a stylist to charge for the entire service before she starts? Now, I know what it's like to be a customer, a client, so I understand, okay? So me, you know, trying to be empathetic and putting myself in a client's shoes, <sighs> You know, I would not want to pay in full before I get a service done just because there's a chance that I may not like it. Now, that's only if I'm going to somebody new, right? Or I'm going to somebody that, I don't know, I don't completely trust. But at the same time, if I'm getting a service from somebody, why would I pay them or even bother coming to them if I don't completely trust them? So, you know, defending the client, you know, clients may not feel comfortable paying first because there's a chance that they may not like their service. So I guess, you know, they want an opportunity to either not pay or have a discount or something like that. But why would you be going to anyone that you don't trust if they so happen to require you paying the full price before the service is even done? And now, listen, I can't speak for all stylists, okay? I Listen, I cannot speak for all stylists because all stylists don't have the same passion, technique, integrity. Like, I definitely can't do that. But with me, you know, I don't want to brag or nothing, but my clients will tell you they have never left my chair unsatisfied because 
that's just who I am. Like I made sure everyone was happy. Even if someone had a complaint and they text me about it days later, I would let them come to the shop and get it fixed. So with me, I felt like it was no risk. And adding to that, I've had three, maybe three or four people actually run out on me. And this is not like a low price service. This is like over $500 services, including hair, you know, whatever color. But yeah, like once I've had those people run out on me, I told myself from now on, I'm not even going to allow myself to be in a situation to get robbed like that again. I just, I, I couldn't do it to myself. So you guys already know, I want your opinion on this, all right? So please let me know if your stylist or your nail tech or your lash tech or whoever you get services by, if they one day said that they require the full payment before they even touch you, will you have a problem with that or will you respect that? And on the other side of the coin, do I have any girls or guys that do services where people have run off on you? Or you had to be more strict on payment or strict on deposits or anything like that? And am I the only one that charged full price before a service? Because I want to know. The blonde strip in the front is really doing it for me. The braids, that little baby hair in the front, I love it. Like, it's a whole vibe. So thank you so much, S. Damie, for sponsoring this video with this Water Wave wig. If you want this exact unit, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. And of course, I want to hear your opinion on the topic for today. So comment below and let's talk about it. See y'all later.